the next subject which you will be learning in this fishery science course is the taxonomy of finfish. This course is designed to understand identification and classification of commercially important fishes and other aquatic vertebrates and also this provides with an introductory knowledge of fish classification. So today in this part we will learn a general introduction part and also we will learn that why this taxonomy subject is important for us in this fisheries course. Let's first of all discuss about taxonomy. So taxonomy is the Greek word in which taxis means arrangement. And numerous means method or law. Taxonomy is a branch of science that covers the classification, identification and nomenclature of an organism. Now let us discuss some of the definitions. So first is classification. So here classification means that is it is simple uh, arrangement of an organism into a groups or categories. So here we can just arrange the organism and place it in a group or category. Now second is taxa or taxon. Here in this uh, group of organism they are recognized in a classification and they are given a scientific name or biological name. For example we can say cyprinidias etc. Now third is category. So category is the level or rank at which the taxon is placed. That is for example we can say order, family, genus etc. So fourth is identification. Uh, identification is also the same like uh, placing the individuals to each taxon by deductive process. Now next is phylogeny. So phylogeny it is a study of evolutionary history of relationship or relationship of an individual or group of an organism. So the diagram which, which shows this relationship of an evolutionary history is usually known as the phylogenic tree or 
we can say that it is a family tree of this evolutionary relationship. Now next is systematics. So uh, systematics we can say that it is a simple system that organizes the vast diversity of an organism into a phylogenic tree. Like uh, we can say that uh, it is a vast diversity, vast which we cannot uh, uh, we cannot organize it well. So we can organize this by using the systematic method by uh, using this phylogenic tree. Now we will move on to the next topic that is the stages of taxonomy. So there are the three stages that is first is alpha taxonomy, second is beta taxonomy and third is gamma taxonomy. So we will go on to the details of all these three stages. The first is alpha taxonomy. Alpha taxonomy is primarily used today for finding, describing and naming of the taxa or particular species. The second is beta taxonomy. In beta taxonomy, sorting and arrangement is done. Sorting is done of the species into groups and arrangement in heresy of higher categories. The third is gamma taxonomy. In gamma taxonomy, analysis is done of intraspecific variation and evolutionary history. For example, we can say that the study of speciation so from this we can conclude that alpha taxonomy is uh, primarily used for just finding, describing and naming of taxa and beta taxonomy for the sorting and arrangement and uh, gamma taxonomy now, for the analysis. The basic definition of taxonomy and also the different stages of taxonomy. Now the question arises why we should study this tax taxonomy? What is the importance of taxonomy? So, the global biodiversity is being lost at an unpredictable rate due to the human activity and decision must be taken to overcome this, this trend. So, now what happens is how decision maker will decide where to establish the uh, protected area and what is being al already protected and how to regulate and identify the uh, species which are being unprotected or which is in danger how do we do that so taxonomy provides a basic understanding for this so the importance of the taxonomy are here it is given it gives various interesting evolutionary phenomena it gives a proper thinking and approach for all biological problems it, it also helps in identifying a particular species it gives it gives a correct scientific name on which we are going to work. It also reveals a numerous interesting evolutionary phenomena and also it, give, it cultivates a thinking or approach in our mind that how we can conserve this biodiversity and how we can protect it and it also gives a basic knowledge about it. It also produces a catalogus, revision, handbook, keys, monograms etc. 
It also avoids exotic species which otherwise harms the habitats and native fauna. Proper identification of fishes helps in museum development and maintenance. So we can say that it, uh, it is a basic and uh, we need to know this taxonomy. So, so this was all for today. We'll meet in the next session.